dear students welcome to our class on grf srf net 2022 uh, specialized subject part c agriculture meteorology uh, in the this is the seventh lecture we continue in the first six lectures uh, okay uh, i tried to give the general overall uh, coverage how we move forward in that direction Uh, most of the bits that we discuss in this class uh, belong to remote sensing basic bits remote sensing basics only i am not saying at once the remote sensing basic uh, bits now the first bit for today class is the sun synchronous satellites are located at an about uh, dash kilometers or at uh, uh, what height the sun synchronous satellites are located the answer is 900 kilometers now when once the sun synchronous satellites are located uh, at 900 kilometers uh, at uh, uh, the uh, geostationary satellites are located at 36000 kilometers please imagine 900 sun synchronous 36000 geo stationary satellites are located that's it now so the geo stationary satellites are used for uh, two purposes number one communication and number two weather forecasting here the important thing from uh, uh, sun synchronous satellites uh, is uh, <clears throat> they move from west to east they move from west to east sun synchronous satellites move from west to east that is the answer the first of the meteorological satellites are put into the orbit in the year 1960 it is uh, the tirus 1 t i r u s 1 by united states of america in the year 1960 now the uh, maximum radiation emitted from uh, the wavelength uh, from which wavelength uh, the maximum radiation is emitted from the earth from the earth the maximum radiation emitted at 10 microns from the sun it is 0.5 microns now the radiation emitted by the sun is uh, most of it is a uh, short wave radiation ultraviolet radiation comes under the short wave radiation for Uh, remote sensing purposes this is also another important thing who found that uh, the light has uh, seven colors in the year 1666 it is a uh, newton uh, light has seven colors the total energy radiation from a black body is equal to the fourth power of its uh, absolute temperature it is uh, the law what is the law Who, whose law is it it is stefan boltzmann law what is it the total energy radiated okay total energy otherwise radiation from a black body is equal to the fourth power of its absolute temperature now usually this question will come in uh, assertion and reason what is that black is not a prime color even though it's a very very primitive question black is not a prime color this will come in the assertion reason please remember that's why basics 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 of remote sensing only we are discussing in this class now the next question is the radar which detects the cyclones uses the radar which detects the cyclones uses which what are the okay waves it uses electromagnetic waves it uses radar uses electromagnetic waves to detect the cyclone the color of the ocean appears blue why because okay the sunlight falling on it is dash it is reflected the reflected radiant energy the reflected rays okay uh, makes the sun look blue color uh, makes the ocean blue color now the color of the sky appears because of scattering the sky appears blue because of scattering but uh, the light is uh, reflection uh, reflected by water that is blue now cloudy nights are usually warmer why because clouds reflect the long wave radiation from the earth number one they radiate they absorb and radiate that's why cloudy nights are very very warm of course based on this principle i have found a technology for 
okay uh, uh, microclimatology uh, microclimatological okay changes okay for paddy nurseries clouds reflect the radiation particularly 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 during the nights so during the winter season that reflected radiation by clouds so instead of clouds i used polythene cover that's what in again because it is a nursery seed seed should germinate quickly i used a red color of uh, this uh, polythene no position application that i did i would like to share with you only um, uh, just uh, what i exactly implemented this what how i exactly used this principles now uh, generally the micro one micron is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 meters so in the units this question may come that's why i covered this one now so the emissivity of a true black body is one the um, emissivity of a true black body is one that's it now the particle quantum concept in the electromagnetic radiation was introduced by particle quantum concept was introduced by wins uh, sorry planck p l a n k planck for scientists the value of planck constant is 6.626 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 34 joules per second that is the thing now which law states that uh, the ratio of emitted radiation to absorbed radiation is the same for all black bodies it is kirchhoff's law now radiation emitted from a black body is equal to fourth power of its uh, absolute temperature now if the surface of temperature of the body is uh, for example the surface temperature of the earth is okay, we believe it is 300 science proved that 300 degrees kelvin so okay uh, at this uh, the maximum radiant energy emitted is uh, to be precise 9.66 uh, microns otherwise 10 microns anything answer is correct most of the earth's radiation is confined to the wave band 3 to 8 microns. So this is uh, another interesting thing that I would like to share with you. Oh, INSAT stands for, okay, INSAT, Indian Satellite, National Satellite, INSAT, Indian National Satellite. Now, sun synchronous satellites are generally polar orbiting, that's why they are 36,000 kilometers, they are located. Kalpana is a satellite, this bit will come. Now, greenhouse effect means, greenhouse effect means the uh, increasing temperature in the atmosphere. Usually we use the term greenhouse. Now, uh, in match the following, uh, some of the most uh, important things that you should remember are oxygen 20.3, nitrogen 78.44, like that, you know, carbon dioxide. I have covered several, several, several times uh, all these weeks. So please remember. So these numbers would appear in the list one, list two, or assertion, or reason, or statement one, statement two. Like that. In that question, say, these uh, small things are embedded in the sentences such that you know your uh, okay the decision for the best student to the last student you know would be decided by this. That's why I mentioned this one. Of course, so. Uh, uh, what are the general meteorological instruments that are asked in the assertion reason or uh, uh, list one matching with the list two? See, list one, okay, A, B, C, D, list two, Roman letters one, two, three, four. Answers numerical one, two, three, four, they give it. In that A, B, C, D, they give it. In that uh, uh, the uh, pluviograph means uh, self recording the engine. The thermograph means continuous recording of temperature. Thermometer means, you know, it just uh, measures instantaneous temperature. Thermometer, whether it is dry bulb or wet bulb or, okay, my, my thermometer, even thermometers, you know, they would record it. So, those trickish words are used only to find uh, the best student among the appearing. That's why nothing, nothing, nothing to trouble anybody. Only to bring out the best talent in the best students. Uh, okay, they ask questions like this. Now, see. Uh, of course, uh, some articles, uh, some uh, some parts of the instruments are given and then you are asked to match. So what are those? Uh, glass globe. What is the glass globe? It uh, sunshine recorder represents. Uh, okay, Stevenson screen. It houses single Stevenson screen houses uh, thermometers. Double Stevenson screen graphs, so thermograph, hygrograph. Some 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 places maybe maybe maybe. Barograph also. Graphs are located or housed in the double surface screen. Meters, thermometers are located in the or housed in the single surface screen. These questions will come. Muslin Clark. 
ओके वेटरल धर्मोमीटर स्टिलिंग वेल यू एस डब्ल्यू बी वोगन पैन ऑपरमीटर सो लाइक दिस कलेक्टर और बॉडी और रिसीवर दिस आर द पार्ट्स इन द रेंज सो दिस पार्ट्स आर गिवन इन मैच लिस्ट वन एंड यू आर आस्क टू मैच विद द लिस्ट टू लाइक दैट यू नो सो ओके मैच द प्लांट्स विद देयर हैबिटेट प्लीज रिमेंबर मैच द प्लांट्स विद देयर हैबिटेट hydrophytes hydrophytes are water loving plant hydro water loving plant now helio ceophytes helio ceophytes so shade loving plants first of all we see helio okay sun or uh, sun or uh, temperature loving plant we think it no helio ceophytes so shade loving plant helio ceophytes are shade loving plant next one uh, halophytes saline plants xerophytes uh, uh, zero xcr zero fights desert plants are dry weather loving plants uh, or heliophytes uh, heliophytes are uh, sun loving plants and the thing is uh, match the crop with the uh, natural habitat naturally okay four or five crops i will tell what is uh, rice with reference to natural habitat it is a heat loving plant cotton 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 every question every uh, exam it is asked uh, weather wise uh, cotton doesn't require cloudiness doesn't require if cloudiness is there bowl dropping is there that's why now so wheat crop it is a long day plant it is a long day crop sugar cane sugar cane needs cool weather for its during its maturity phase groundnut it is an indeterminate plant what is an indeterminate plant the branches or the leaves go on appearing even at the stage of maturity and harvesting also so indeterminate it goes on goes on giving or producing the green biomass that's why it is a, a indeterminate plant now so uh, some droughts are given usually according to their uh, characteristics for example meteorological drought prolongs prolonged meteorological drought results in setting up hydrological drought now uh, agricultural drought what is meant by agricultural drought uh, plants or crops fail to mature because of insufficient soil moisture so that is the thing next thing is uh, a contingency drought it results from the irregular and variable rainfall similarly hydrological drought when meteorological resources are uh, uh, last bit uh, i would like to share with you so hydrological drought uh, uh, when meteorological droughts uh, is prolonged atmospheric drought what is an atmospheric drought a atmospheric drought is a low rh in the atmosphere and also hot and dry winds so these are the things okay so the last bit as i said is uh, some scientists are given who invented the instruments uh, meteorological instruments are given even though it is basic 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 uh, in the assertion and reasoning in the statement one statement two like that you know these questions are given now aristotle author of the first book on meteorology galileo invented thermometer okay uh, castelli benedetto castelli uh, rain gauge torselli barometer and admiral halley he had found uh, the monsoon winds that's why uh, southwest monsoon northeast monsoons are explained uh, thoroughly by uh, halley concept the other uh, uh, concepts are flon's concept and aerological concept which have little significance halley with reference to uh, monsoon winds these are all the things that i would like to share with you may god bless you thanking you very much for your very patient hearing